Do you know what this painting is called and who painted it? The painting is called Early Sunday Morning and is a 1930 painting by American artist Edward Hopper. The painting portrays the small businesses and shops of 7th Avenue in New York City shortly after sunrise. It shows a cloudless sky over a long, red building. A red and blue striped barber pole sits in front of one of the doorways on the right side of the sidewalk, and a green fire hydrant is on the left. The bleak, empty street and storefronts are said to be a representation of the dire state of the city during the Great Depression. Despite the title, Hopper has said that the painting was not necessarily based on a Sunday view. The painting was originally titled Seventh Avenue Shops. The addition of Sunday to the title was tacked on by someone else. The image was based on a building nearby Hopper's studio. It is said to be almost a literal translation of Seventh Avenue, however a few minor details were changed, like decreasing the size of the doorways and making less clear the letters on the storefront. It is currently in the collection of the Whitney Museum of American Art. The piece was originally sold to the Whitney for $2,000. It was purchased with funds from Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney just a few months after it was painted, and would go on to become a part of the Whitney's founding collection. According to Cara L. Ann Marling, early Sunday morning is a prelude to the wakeful coffee urns and to those who tend them to defeat the night. According to Blake Gopnik, the painting's bone deep conservatism, and its obvious, almost polemical resistance to the most ambitious European art of its day. In the midst of the Depression in America, that conservatism is as much a part of the painting's subject as the closed shops it depicts. According to Whitney Museum of American Art, Early Sunday Morning is one of Edward Hopper's most iconic paintings. Although he described this work as almost a literal translation of Seventh Avenue, Hopper reduced the New York City street to bare essentials. The lettering in the window signs is illegible, architectural ornament is loosely sketched, and human presence is merely suggested by the various curtains differentiating discrete apartments. The long, early morning shadows in the painting would never appear on a north-south street such as 7th Avenue. Yet these very contrasts of light and shadow, and the succession of verticals and horizontals, create the charged, almost theatrical, atmosphere of empty buildings on an unpopulated street at the beginning of the day. Although Hopper is known as a quintessential 20th-century American realist, and his paintings are fundamentally representational, his work demonstrates his emphasis on simplified forms, painterly surfaces, and studiously constructed compositions. The painting has become the inspiration for other works of art. Examples include Byron Vazaka's poem Early Sunday Morning and John Stone's poem of the same name.